Welcome to Live Oak News with your main news anchors, Emily and Sadie. Today's news segment, Mr. Navarrete Interview by Spencer Lunabis. Do you like teaching? I do enjoy teaching. How does it make you feel? Um energetic when I'm around the kids and then it makes me feel like I'm actually making a difference in what's going on in the future. And what is your favorite part of teaching? Being around the kids. The joking, the having fun, um, explaining that learning can be fun and can also be funny. Miss Jobler interview by Emily Donaldson. So what have you guys been doing this past couple of years? We have, in language arts, we just had a spelling test today, but we've been studying the hard C and the soft C sound. So they had spelling words today like race and face and then fence. For science, we've been studying animals and their parts and what kind of habitats they live in, and they're really loving that. And we've been doing this since the STEM scopes. Um, in math, we're studying um, different ways to make the teens and break them. Next up, we have a preview of the bullying skit by Emily Donaldson, Luke James, and Matthew Linquist. to Megan, Emma, and Izzy with the sports news. With our host, Emma, Megan, and Izzy. Let's see what we have here. Well, let's check on the sporty kids. With our guest, Izzy. Hi, I am Izzy, their guest. Why do you like sports anyway? I like sports because some are really fun like soccer because you're running and it really makes you look. What is your favorite sport? Football. Do you like playing with new people or your friends? I like playing with my friends because I'm not so much a people person. Thank you, Izzy. Now, should fidget spinners and paper folding be banned at school? Leave in the comments. Fun fact, do you know the Super Bowl only happens once a year? That's why everybody's so excited about it. In my opinion, I like football, lacrosse, and soccer. Back to you, Emma. About the Super Bowl, if you didn't know, the Patriots it's won the Super Bowl with a score of 13-3 with a good game. Also, on February 7th, it was Miss Norris's birthday. All right. On to the book review with Sadie. Hello, my name is Sadie. I'm going to discuss with you a book I read and very much enjoyed. The book is called Pretend You're a Tiger. The story is by Arthur Rolio and is illustrated by Greg Haley. This is a very enjoyable book. It is about how you would act and look if you were to pretend you're a tiger. I like this book a lot and I think most would too. This is a fun and creative story. Again, this story is called Pretend You're a Tiger. Thank you for letting me share this with you. Until next time, keep reading. Next, we will go to Denali with the music. 
Hello, my name is Denali. Today I'm going to be talking about music. Music is all about voice and 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 story. Story makes story makes the the music real and voice does the same as well. Let's go back to Sadie and Emily. Lastly, we will have Mira share some fun facts. Hey fellow Live Oak students, today I'll be sharing some fun facts with you. The first fun fact is that once a tree grows to an average size, it will provide environmental benefits that would otherwise cost $7 a year. That's a lot of air. The next fact is that snakes can help predict earthquakes. I guess those slithery gar guys aren't really that bad after all. Also, did you know that McDonald's once made bubblegum flavored broccoli? I guess that's one way of making kids eat broccoli. Also, the first oranges weren't orange. I wonder why they called them oranges then. And the last fact is that, did you know the, the longest English word is 189,819 letters long? Boy, that's a long word. I wonder if anyone can even pronounce that. Well, I'll see you all next time um, in the next episode of Live Oak News. Bye. Thanks for watching Live Oak News.